7.03. Ten on your side has been following this developing story since Monday night. At least two crosses from fallen officers' roadside memorials were stolen in Virginia Beach. They were found last night, along with other memorial crosses, and there is much more to this story. Ten on your side's Liz Palka is live in Virginia Beach at the memorial for Officer Rodney Pacheski. And Liz, we certainly got an interesting phone call that may have played a part in these crosses being found. Right, Katie. A man called us and told us if we go to a specific place in Pungo, we will find those stolen crosses. We did, and that's where we found the cross that was stolen from Officer Pacheski's memorial site right here and much more. Got instinct, cringing feeling of um, almost someone like dishonesty. That's how Nick Leonthes felt when he saw these crosses standing in his business's parking lot. Ten on your side got a phone call late Tuesday. A man told us he left the crosses next to Blue Pete's restaurant on Muddy Creek Road. I thought you were pranking me at first, just saying that, oh, somebody called and said that they left them out underneath the street sign in the parking lot. So to actually see them, yeah, I was definitely puzzled, and then um, I couldn't really explain the feeling that I got after that. Virginia Beach Police processed the scene where the crosses were found. There were five or six of them there, including Officer Rodney Pacheskis, who was shot and killed 10 years ago along Dam Neck Road. Also there, the cross from Norfolk Police Officer Victor Decker's memorial. Sometimes you wonder why half the people on this planet would do half the things that they do anyways. And the man we spoke to on the phone did not admit to taking the crosses, although he did know a lot about the situation. He told us that he's a secularist and takes offense to seeing crosses on public property. And the Virginia Beach Police Department told us that they took those crosses back to their headquarters where they'll be checking them for fingerprints. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Liz, thank you. Now, if you want an official memorial to be put in place, the Virginia Department of Transportation can, can install a roadside memorial sign. They look like this. Now, you do have to pay for the sign, but once it's approved by VDOT, the sign can be made and put up alongside a state-maintained highway. The sign will stay up for two years, but you can request an extension of one year at a time. For more information on the program, go to our website, wavy.com.